What's going on guys, Nathan with Technology Smash back with another video and today I have an opening and unboxing of the Huawei watch. So this is an Android Wear watch made by Huawei who is the same manufacturer as the Nexus 6P and they've made a lot of flagship phones, I believe in China as well, um, starting to get more popular here. So I got this on Prime Day uh, about half off so it was a really good price. This is usually uh, $399 it was $205. So on the top here you can see the Huawei logo. It's got a little glimmery shininess to it on the front. Same kind of color pattern. It says Huawei Watch. I'm pronouncing that how I want to. If you pronounce it different, then that's okay. Um, very strange name, obviously. So on the bottom here, we just have some stats and certifications and things like that. And that's pretty much it. So we'll just get this tape off. It's a really nice box. Um, to a lot of you, that might not matter, but to me, it does. Very nice presentation in this unboxing they did a really good job um, only one real weird misstep I would say and we'll get into that after we open this up so just cut the two slits on the side here and we will just pop the top off it just slides up and lift it up here and on the inside is another box so this lifts out this is like a very nice jewelry box basically for a real watch so it's like a plushy leather material I don't know if it's real leather um, it's got that Huawei logo on the top indented into the front and that's it it's just a really solid box I mean very very solid so the top lifts up here got the watch right on top it's a little bit crooked here so let's fix that and it's very nice it's presented just like a luxury watch so on the inside here there's just a little saying about it being a smart watch but also being a nice watch so there's these two little pins that you lift up they're just connected to the holder in here they're made out of metal so we'll set that watch to the side lift up this little strap and you have a little uh, information booklets here that everything else comes with that nobody cares about usually so this will just have information on how to use the watch and materials used and warnings and stuff like that so on the inside here is just a little tag and then we have our charger this is my only gripe I would say so far the charger is not very premium I would say uh, compared to everything else the box is so nice the watch is amazing but then you have this plastic slash half metal charger uh, here's the charger here anybody who wants to see the stats can pause it there and read if they'd like um, but yeah it, it connects by pins uh, it's not completely wireless, you would say, I guess. You do just set it down and it snaps together with magnets. It's fine. It still works okay. So it's not a big deal. It's just strange to me uh, when you have, you know, the higher-end Apple Watches with that all-metal uh, disc, basically. It, it's weird that they used a plastic design. Uh, but the bottom of the watch is metal, so that could have to do with it not scratching by hitting metal on metal. So as you can see, I got this Milanese type of band. Um, that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, and the screen here has no flat tire so uh, the band is a little bit thin uh, for my taste but it, it's fine overall it feels really nice so this little clasp comes undone and it just kind of slides out this little plushy leather pad is what holds the watch around uh, first thing I notice it's very uh, rigid but in a good way it's very very sturdy um, it is not flimsy whatsoever this is like chain mail almost uh, if that's the right word on the back here you have our heart rate sensor and the little charge pins. There's this little sticker that we're just going to pull off and it says to make sure you remove that before you charge it, which obviously is a good idea for heat. Uh, stainless steel made in China, etc. It has uh, easy remove pins, which is nice. And then the button is in the 2 o'clock position instead of the 3 o'clock, which is great because that's a natural place to put your hand. So we'll start it up here. You see the Huawei logo on the front very deep dark blacks it looks really really nice um, I, I like the screen quite a bit actually it's probably one of the best screens I've ever seen on a watch and I never really knew uh, the flat tire was that big a deal so it'll be paired to this Nexus 6P here uh, just in case you were wondering uh, the boots up very very quickly as you can see there's no issues with speed there so we'll go ahead and select English it's asking us to connect to a power source like it always does um, but let's go ahead and take a look so the there is no ambient sensor obviously because that's usually where the flat tire would house it so if you cover up with your wrist it will shut off I'm getting very very solid battery life with this by the way um, the band is very very difficult I, I'm 
it's very hard and I'm struggling uh, putting it on every single time I do for this type of particular band. Uh, it feeds underneath here. I actually cut quite a bit of time out of this video trying to figure out how to get this on because I thought it went underneath and over the top. I forgot how it opened when I first opened it up. So obviously this is not the right way to do it and this is kind of dumb. Um, it, it feeds underneath so it actually runs up against your wrist. So that's why it's been so hard for me to get on because it kind of forces against your skin and you have to slide it softly so it goes in like that. Um, but it's too small around to put it on your wrist to start it off already so you kind of have to start with it separated but when it's tucked under it won't have the band sticking out of the edge so I'm gonna go ahead and get this on for you I, again it took a while for me to get this on the first time so you see it feeds underneath which is really nice for looks and for getting it caught on things and stuff like that it's just gonna take some time for me to figure it out so yeah overall it's a very very nice presentation and super nice watch so uh, hopefully I'll get some more information out to you guys on that soon, but uh, everything in here screams that it's an actual premium made watch, not just a smart watch. So great job Huawei. This is a very nice presentation and I, I like it quite a bit. So thanks for watching guys and as always I'll catch you next time. Thanks.